Welcome to the ECDL Word Processing Module, Section 3.1.1. Here we have to know how to change text formatting, including font sizes and font types. So here we have a Microsoft Word document where I've made no changes whatsoever to the font size or the font type. First of all, let's be absolutely certain we know what we mean by font. Font is the style of text. If you can think of it a little bit like your style of handwriting, your style of handwriting is different from somebody else's style of handwriting. Your handwriting may be large and swirly, somebody else's may be small and tight, and somebody else's may be square and very wide. So the general shape and style and look of the text is what we refer to as the font. Now we're going to highlight this first paragraph here and have a look at changing the font. You'll need to be in the Home tab of your ribbon at the top and we have this section here labelled Font. And to change the style, the name of the font, uh, you'll have up here, it might not necessarily have Calibri or Calibri, whichever you pronounce it as uh, listed, that's just the font that I happen to have here. But whatever word, whatever name is listed in this section here, just click on the arrow to the right of it and you will then have a list of all of the font styles that are installed on your particular computer. Now your list may well be different to mine. Um, I have different fonts installed for different projects. So uh, some things uh, may look a little different, but you'll have a list of fonts here. And you can see that as I scroll over these uh, fonts, the writing that I highlighted in my main document changes uh, to show what it would look like. It hasn't actually changed yet. I've not clicked on anything. So if I come out of this menu, it returns to uh, where it was to begin with. And at the top, you'll also see here um, that you'll have either, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, recent fonts that you have used, or in this particular case, I have a theme applied to my document, and so themed fonts will be included here. So you'll have either fonts you've used recently or fonts that are included in whatever font uh, theme you're using. So let's just quickly change this. Uh, to something uh, different. Let's try um, Baskerville Oldface. There we are. So we can see the, the different style of writing. Down here you can see that the letters are quite blocky, quite square. They're in a little fancy bit to the top and bottoms of letters. Whereas here you can see the letter L. It's not just simply two rectangles at 90 degrees. There are little flicky bits off each corner and joint. So that's changing the font style. Changing the font size uh, includes this little option just to the right of the one where we change the font style. The font size, again, you can either click in this box and type a number. Let's type the number 18 and then press enter. And you can see straight away the text increases in size to what we call point 18. Or you can use the little drop down arrow and scroll down and then choose whatever font size you need. And again, as I hover the mouse over each of these numbers, you can see that the text I highlighted automatically shows what it would look like were I to select that particular size. So let's change that to size 16, for example. So there we are, we've changed the font style, just the style of handwriting, if you like, and the font size, uh, which is measured in what we call points. So we currently have this top paragraph as uh, Baskerville Old Face, uh, point size 16. 